with his guitar case in hand. Kenley Mattis shows up for his usual gig in an unusual spot. Stage outfit in place, he's ready to greet some folks who can't get out much. You've heard of the Beatles, right? Yeah. <laughs> you see, at least once a week, Kenley Mattis puts on his best bedside manner for hospital patients. And all I have to do is think of her. There's so many different people I've played to. I've played to tens of thousands of people over the years. Man. Myra Reyes is a cancer patient on the bone marrow transplant floor at City of Hope Hospital in Southern California. It makes the day happier. It makes the day more hopeful. Music just makes everything better. Tonight's gonna be a good night. Mattis is part of an organization called Musicians on Call. Like doctors making rounds, the nonprofit group has been bringing musicians to hospitals all over the country for almost 20 years, including some big name musicians. Patients have been treated to their own private concerts by Nick Jonas and Pharrell Williams. Country fans have hung out with Keith Urban if you got a kiss you and Kelsey Ballerini. Musicians on Call has played for more than 600,000 patients. It's a person-to-person -person experience. It was amazing. One that Kenley Mattis finds more rewarding than the arenas and clubs where he started his career. Well, there's so much about being an artist or being a performer, you wonder, is what I'm doing important? You know, is this about me? What is this about? You know, why do I want to do this? And then you do this, say, oh yeah. I could be there for other people. Do you have any requests? Is there anything in particular you want to hear? You know any Deep Purple? <laughs> <laughs> As Mattis and I continued our rounds at City of Hope, we stopped into Vernon Davis's room. Right. The environment may be sterile, but Mattis is infectious. I see you see it. Come on. Come on, baby, like my fire. Even the mess-ups are cool because it's really about being them. Oh, I messed that up. You know this part. You know you want to sing with me. Oh, you know it. Well, get that. When they're happy, we're happy. Karen St. Ange is a nursing assistant at City of Hope. We crack doors, you know, people that don't really want to come out so that they know that they can hear the music and it still makes them happy. I, I'm so thankful. I don't know what to say. Ah, oh, you well, said it. I can't walk into a room and change someone's day. But as a musician, they could walk in and play a song, and three minutes later, that person's day is forever changed. I watched that happen. Pete Griffin is the president of Musicians On Call. In the beginning, we were knocking on doors saying, hey, this is valuable, this is important. And then what we've seen over the past 20 years is that the science has really caught up to what we're doing. And now the hospital is saying, well, this is actually part of the healing process. Yes. This isn't something that's just a nice thing to do, but this is actually helping our patients. We know that music makes people less anxious. Professor Matthew Lascalzo is a specialist in pain management at City of Hope. We know that people who listen to music and experience it deeply feel less pain. Mm. That is science. We know that with music, you feel less depressed. Don't you know? You I feel more energized. You feel more connected to something bigger than your immediate experience. And isn't that what we all need? Oh, this is where all the work happens here. Thanks for having us. We Thank tagged you. along with country superstar Luke Bryan Tell me what got you. I just as he visited Lenox Hill Hospital in Manhattan. He says it's not just about the patients. Play it again. Trust me, I get in the habit of, uh, of being all about me from time to time. So whenever I can make it not about me and make it about nice somebody you. else. You doing good? Yes. And put them first. I think it does your body good. Brian's body of work can get a little racy at times. Which can create an issue. All my songs aren't nursery rhymes, so uh, when I have to play them for kids, I'll, I'll do a little editing on the spot for them. Like, oh my God, this is my song. I've been listening to the radio all night long. Back at City of Hope, a nursery rhyme turned out to be just what the doctor ordered, and Kenley Mattis was ready. Two-year-old Christopher Leal is a natural-born percussionist. You've been practicing, right? You've been practicing the tambourine? 
Yeah. So Mattis created a song on the spot. Shake the avocado, shake the avocado, yeah. But usually it's just whatever's off the top of my, and then let's make up a song. Or, right. Which is sort of the go-to if you have no idea what to do. Well, I guess you say. Mattis had one last appointment on this day. This way, it's my girl. He visited Johnice Victor and her husband Isaac, delivering a bit of healing and hope. I feel like I'm walking out of here now. <laughs> I know, you know, it, I feel like it's time to go home. I'm telling you. It reminds us of uh, that dance floor, so now we're oh. looking forward to getting back to it. I love it. <laughs> let it shine, let it shine, let it shine.